Hello everybody and welcome to another video from my series Quick Thoughts On, in which I always talk about different stories from the rich Star Trek universe. Earlier this week CBS All Access premiered a new short track, it was called The Trouble with Edward, and these are my honest opinions about it. This episode is awful. It's a disgusting piece of shit. It starts good enough on the 25% different USS Enterprise, where Captain Pike is helping the young officer Lynn Lucero, who got promoted to captain and they lead her to her new scientific ship, the USS Cabot. And as soon as we cut from the CJ opening to these two actors, the first problem arises. And the problem is the casting. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Rosa Salazar, I loved her in Alita Battle Angel, but she just looks too young, she looks like she's 15, she has literally a baby face. Plus the fact that she's so small doesn't help too. When she walks with Captain Pike, it looks like a father telling to his teenage daughter that she has to come back from her date until 11, or something like that. She doesn't simply look as a captain, so I guess that's why Pike needs to tell us how awesome she is. Plus, does it make any sense for me to remind you all that in the original series days, women couldn't be captains? So, how is she as a captain? Well, we soon see her having a meeting with deputies of all departments. They must find a solution for a possible starvation of a planet close to Klingon space. The team is very diverse, but there is also a straight white guy, which means that he's either incompetent or a villain or both. He doesn't even know how to turn on his equipment, so the black woman sitting next to him has to turn it on for him. But all of the people who claim that this show has a socio-political agenda are just paranoid and don't know what they're talking about, right? This whitey McPale face is the Edward from the title, so after his introduction we are supposed to accept he's incompetent, but as we soon find out, he is also what is supposed to be the villain, or least, I think. The tone of this episode is pretty disturbing, so what is his solution to the starvation problem? He wants to feed the people tribbles, because they are delicious. As usually, tribbles are not supposed to be known at this time, we have unfortunately seen them also in season 1 of Discovery, People behind Discovery don't care about canon or continuity, but I do, which means that every one of these canon violations will always be criticized by people like myself. Speaking about continuity, one of the scientists on the ship appears to be a Trill. If my feeling is correct and it is a Trill, this would mean that the Federation had Trill officers a century before they met the Trill. Edward is a socially awkward nerd, I know a bunch of people like him, but Lynn is showing him how much she despises him. She, he gives her a perfect solution, I mean, there is nothing wrong with eating animals, but the meeting ends with her moving him to the climatology team. Why? Again, in this scene he's portrayed as socially awkward, maybe even slightly autistic, but she treats him like a villain. He of course sends an anonymous complaint to Starfleet, which she of course thinks is by him, and decides to get rid of him and get him off the ship. Why? Any competent captain would try to help him instead of punishing him. Do you remember Reginald Barkley? Hell, every decent person would try to help him. And as always what I am supposed to be feeling right now? Why is this awful, awful, awful scene shot as a comedy? He sprays something on his tribble, which causes the tribble to start to multiply, and very soon the tribbles are a threat for the ship, and we get some quote-unquote hilarious scenes, like seeing Edward walk through the corridors without his pants. Why? It's not a joke, what am I supposed to feel? Is this supposed to be funny? 
Why does he walk on the ship without his pants? Does he have some brain damage or... I don't know. And when the captain decides to abandon ship, he stands in front of the door, uh, having something what I guess was supposed to be a mental breakdown. So what does the brave captain do? She lets him there to die. Then we see her being questioned about what happened, and she said that Edward was an idiot. Why? Not only is she an awful captain, she is an awful, awful human being. And even though I liked her in the beginning, in the end I officially hate her. She is the villain of this story, but it looks like the creators thought that she's the hero. So yes, this episode started with me liking it, and it ended up with me absolutely hating it. But it gets worse. Yes, even after the episode ends, we end up with a post credit scene. It is a commercial for the Tribbles as food, and they even make sure to remind us that there is even a bit of Edward in every Tribble. Because cannibalism is hilarious. I wanna vomit. I really had to control myself not to lose my lunch during the post credit scene. This episode is awful. It starts good, then it starts to get progressively worse with every scene and ends up absolutely disgusting. I feel like I have just watched a fantasy of a serial killer in making. I honestly feel like the writer needs to be checked by a psychiatrist. This is not what normal people behave like. There is something really wrong with this person's brain. On my standard scale from 0 to 10, where 0 is absolute garbage, 10 is a masterpiece and 5 is just average, I would give this episode 0 out of 10. This might be the worst Star Trek related thing I have ever seen. But as always, these are just my opinions. Let me know what did you think about this episode down in the comment section. And I will be back with another video soon, probably tomorrow, a video about another episode which sucks, this time the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Shades of Grey. Thank you very much for watching and see you very soon, bye!